So far, there's no evidence that the president's insults on Twitter have convinced the North Korean leader to slow down his nuclear weapons program. But the administration is hoping a show of military strength is more persuasive. Ben Tracy got an up-close look at the U.S.-led drill. These F-18 fighter jets from the USS Ronald Reagan could strike targets in North Korea in a matter of minutes. Three U.S. aircraft carrier strike groups, the Reagan, the Theodore Roosevelt, and the USS Nimitz, are involved in these massive military exercises just off the Korean Peninsula. It's the largest display of U.S. naval strength in the Western Pacific in a decade. If there was a conflict with North Korea, they could launch a fighter jet off this carrier once every 20 seconds. But of course, they then have to get all those fighter jets back on board. And this is how they do it. And all of this together, the whole U.S. military sends the message that we're ready to defend ourselves. Rear Admiral Mark Dalton commands one of the strike groups. He says having three carriers that support more than 200 aircraft is a rare training opportunity. Does this more closely mimic a real-life conflict situation, a wartime situation? The more strike groups that you can get together, um, the more complex it is, and, and so we get training value out of that. But these U.S.-led exercises infuriate North Korea which views them as rehearsals for an invasion and calls the latest drill reckless and provocative. China and Russia have called on the U.S. to end these large-scale military exercises because they fear they needlessly provoke North Korea. But the U.S. says it needs to be prepared. Ben Tracy, CBS News, on board the USS Ronald Reagan.